cut your feet. Okay, this is a Finnabar inspired altered canvas part two. I'm trying to get my camera to there we go. Uh part two. Um this is a canvas that I already pre altered. Um I have the video of how to build this type of canvas, this uh background with the um, crackle effect and everything. I'll put a video link in the description box down below. With this one, I'm using a different vintage lady. I'm going to use her. She's so beautiful. And uh, I'm really going to um, dress this one up with some more floral, uh, more vintage. Um, I'm probably going to do more silvers with this one. Uh, since there's some silver hues in this uh, canvas. So just sit back, enjoy the music, and watch the process. And if you haven't seen my first Cinnabar inspired um, canvas, uh, the uh, link will be in the description box down below. Um, again, uh, it's the same as this one. I just found the picture, uploaded it into my Photoshop, enlarged it, put it on a piece of cardstock so that it would be ready to mount onto the canvas. And I'm always working with the 12 by 12 canvas. So, um, again, you'll find all the links in the description box. And let's get started.
Canvas is finished. I think it turned out stunning. Um, I chose blues and purples and silvers with a touch of gold, a touch of pearl. Used a lot of product on this, like Tim Holtz Distress Glitters, um, stamps from Prima, a lot of Prima flowers that have been retired that I've had, um, lots of metal pieces and chipboard pieces. A beautiful dangle silver trim I mean gold trim I'm sorry uh, some Venice lace uh, I printed out a title that says unlock the window to your soul and let your dreams soar and a uh, beautiful bird from Prima lots of metal filigrees pearls I had to add my bling to this one so throughout this is several pieces of my bling um, I definitely wanted to stamp that beautiful uh, flower rose vine on her face there. And uh, I've stamped some words, wonderful and beautiful, a butterfly, just, you know, very mixed media. Here is another piece of bling on her wrist for her bracelet. Um, lots of flowers, black, definitely Lindy Stamp Gang. You've got to love that. Really, really a lot of um, color and just beautiful shimmer. You cannot get that anywhere else. Um, and I just, I am so addicted to making these now. Um, this is the second one. The only complaint that I have about this one is that I got a little bit of shimmer on her face. And it'll bug me, but, but, I'm not going to let it bug me too much because it just adds to the whimsy of this piece. I used some stamp sets from Glitz Designs that I had, Prima Marketing, just a lot of, um, things that I just pulled together. I used some silver and gold paint. Um, used my uh, Liquitex um, molding paste and some stencils I had 
from uh, that I had bought way back uh, from oh who was it Tatt Tattered Angels yeah that's when they had stencils and again some metal and buttons and it's just a a fun fun way to express your passion for crafting and your beauty and 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 everything and I could see me so who doing several of these a series of them in different colors and different uh, themes and everything and I really wanted to like I said at the beginning really add a lot of flower to this one um, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, please do uh, follow the links below um, everything will be in the description box also please subscribe and share and give me a thumbs up if you like this project and uh, if you do try this project and you follow the steps that I did um, and you do a video or you do a picture or something I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up again follow Finnabar's blog this is who inspired me is Finnabar and uh, again all those links will be down below and I hear it thundering it's like coming up storm so I'm so glad I got this done before it stormed <laughs> so again if you have any questions about any of the products I used today just let me know and I will be more than happy to answer them for you and until next crafty project ladies I will see you then oh and stay for lots of photos bye bye